G'day and welcome back to our humble caliphate campaign in EU4. So we've got the achievement and if we want to go for the other achievement, the um, hard bargaining one, we need to be able to put a guy in the Malukas, which currently is too far away. So we have to find a way to spread over this way a little further. Alright, Hajj have been raided. Lose, prestige and legitimacy. Gazi Kamuk. I was actually just thinking of sending a guy over to Gazi. So, um, Shavan, Dagestan. Fabricate on Shavan. Fabricate on Dagestan. Fabricate on Taki. Where's Van? Oh, I had no idea that was Gaza Kamuk. Thought that was uh, Persia. Alright, let's go for Van. Has eight. So yeah, he's a tributary of Crimea who we want to go to war with. Unfortunately, he's allied with a Transox. Um, his Regency Council will last some time. <coughs> and conversions. Alright, must have just finished the things over there, I guess. Where are we actually coring at the moment? Kabilia, what was their deal? Um, they had a bunch of stuff there. Yeah, Naples is getting destroyed by Neapolitan particularists. Alright, promote in government. Probably not yet. I think I might want to promote Amhara. Half price because we're Mamluks. Sure. Alright, how's our tech? Nine years ahead. And what are we doing down here? Diplomatic for trade stuff. And admin for economic stuff. Autonomy change could actually help out quite a bit. Land maintenance would be decent. Was it? 10%. And production efficiency is where we're getting a lot. Development cost, probably not so much. Deva decline of al -Muka. Kathia Arabica will be removed from Mukha. Okay, what was that giving us? And where is it? Look, goods produced, plus three. Okay. Where of Prada's opinion goes down. Because they found other coffees. And, yeah, Ragusa we couldn't do for, I can't remember what reason. I um, assume we want to fabricate on Dubrovnik. And I might as well keep him in there. So, what was their deal? Allied with Austria and the Poop. Alright, keep throwing out the thorns. And both of these are on 90 now. Moravians, not so bad. Tunisians, definitely going to trigger. Got this guy standing here waiting for him. Let's give him a 1 4. And Tunisians first. How's that for timing? It's only a 28 stack in the coastal desert. And they're taken care of. <laughs> the Lima's influence is now 2. Great for a caliphate. The Lumas are so powerful. Um, do we have enough points? Yes, we do. Let's get started on Dembia, which was their old capital. Yeah. Um, we don't actually need either of these forts here anymore. Probably want to keep one of them, so we'll keep that one. Uh, this one, we'll just save Ducket. This one here is actually quite useless as well. And so is this one, truth be told, because that one's going to block instead. Alright, protests in Tajura. Move towards legalism, lose prestige. Yes. Um, going to keep those forts. Going to keep it on our capital. This one's probably not absolutely vital. Except for people landing here. That'll block, I guess. And this one blocks anybody coming from that side. So we'll keep them both. Uh, if anyone does get to our capital, we're building that up. Might eventually do a war against the Ottomans. So we'd want both of these strong. Really running out of cash. Okay. And Crimea. 10, 6, 6. That's Russia. It was actually taken... Russia's invaded the Crimea. What a shock. Um, 
Let's go for Guria. That's all we want on them. We're not going to declare because they're allied to the Ottomans in Bohemia. Access from Morocco for the war against Portugal mm. is fine. Let's replace our army reformer with... I don't know, Fort Defense, I guess. It's not particularly awesome. Um, I do want to build up another army because we've got the cash for it. All right, and over in Persia, we already have claims. Need 30 for the next. And we can declare on anybody because we have imperialism now. So Sindh, guaranteed by Gujarat, is the problem. Uh, he's also guaranteeing Vajanagar. I assume he would actually go through with that. Rather much so. Uh, we could call Transox in and then declare on Gazakumuk. Who would only then bring in the Crimea. Wouldn't cobligerize them. Um, guess we could do that. This is where I wanted to build up another army. Really need to deal with all of these guys first, though. So, the Moravians should trigger down here. Uh, disagreeing advisor. Lose prestige, gain military power. Possibly. <laughs> Actually, did. Alright, wily smugglers. Lose diplo, lose ducats. Lose prestige, lose ducats. Lose trade efficiency and tax. Oh, still growing 20. Doing good on trade. And <clears throat> have we finished building the boats? We can get one more. Alright, we can transport 10, ties, 10 guys at a time now. Probably should have got another transport ship. Alright, and is there another tech coming up with trade range? It's actually the next one. Which should actually get us into Malacca's, potentially. Alright, we shall move towards legalism, because we need to buy down our corruption. Get down from 2.19. And conversion of Tatooine and Tabak and Safax. Knock out a whole bunch more. None of them were in Moravia, so that's all good. Russia declared imperialism on Riga. Okay, let's get triply converted. Nice little Sunni block over there. Spain has announced us as their rival. Spain, Russia, actually. Can we get to war with Russia? We could actually fabricate on Russia itself. Uh, he is allied with Sweden and Korea. We'd make things a little nasty. We'd have to call in Transox and the Ottomans against them. What else do we have these days? Um, literally just those two. Because we have two guys. I think I've given up on uh, doing Spain because... I mean, he has France under him, plus an alliance with Portugal. Well, it's Naples deal. Brandenburg and Florence. All right, Gujarat. I've dealt with their internal conflicts. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get autonomy change. Then land maintenance, then production efficiency with development cost. And unlock. Nothing particularly important. Quantity gives land force limit modifier. What is our force limit? 195. Hey, we've actually recovered manpower. Holy crap, it's coming back really fast. So we don't have potential for a large army yet, but we will soon. Multicultural nation, we'd have to spend... Actually, not 300. You know, let's just do that now. Uh, it is this one. We accept Oromo. And we accept... Saramo. And we accept... Tigray. Alright, now a multicultural and potential for large army will come soon. Alright, choose with Persia is done, really. Guaranteed by the Ottomans. It would certainly come in. We could call them against somebody. 
If we can call Transox against somebody, should we just declare war on Russia? Um, allied with Sweden and Korea. Korea's debts, I don't think, will get any worse. And Sweden is in the war. Oh, that's right, Russia just declared that war. Um, well, it's about to finish anyway. Um, is this coming down? No. Benghazi and Sirt. Well, after they're converted, that should be fine. Let's just leave... Hello, Spain. Um, leave this army over in Benghazi. And then, yeah, we'll go to war with Russia. And just before that finishes, we'll go to war with Persia, so the Ottomans can't come in. Okay. We have access through here, so... Just go... Bring these four armies up. Ah, we're good to do a little bit more on Ragusa, so... Fabricate on Krinagora. Recall him, and we still need more on them. Alright, let's see our leader situation. We get one more. Can we get one more? 1699, five years time. Well, we can go for Maliki now as well. Kabilia gives us Maliki. Development cost down. Well, no. Um, lose stability, lose inflation, or gain three inflation. Easy. Converted the heretics of Sirt. To Zuara. <laughs> Actually showed up his house. Uh, Russia accepted peace with Lithmartian. Means some of his armies way out of position. Converted Benghazi. Let's um, do Dembia first. 14 years is fine. And Gujarat are going to be an annoyance. Hmm, that will keep ticking down. Alright, Hamburg cedes Holstein to Sweden. Should still have another army on the way. He's practically there. And we lost this general. I oh, guess we're getting another one after all. Oh, he's terrible. Okay, um, let's just go ahead and declare before anything else changes. Transox and Ottomans take capital of Moscow. We shall. Um, so just us versus him, we're massively outnumbered. Once we call in the Ottomans, still not particularly good. Um, hopefully Russia are behind. No, tech 23. We're 24. They're one tech behind. Can't remember what we got on that last tech, but hopefully his forts are all level twos. We've got a one siege, a two siege, and a one siege. Why? Alright. <laughs> of course we have to go around. Um, they're actually going opposite directions to get there. It's interesting. How about we all go this way and stay very close to each other. And we're getting some more manpower soon. Um, more ducats would actually be useful. At the point now, we can build up another dude. Let's just go pop them out here. So they should have supply there. Borgnord actually did as well. Alright, next mission, Rival of Rival. Ming. Hey Ming. Now we're at war with one of your tributaries at the moment. We have... How many men exactly? You know, Sweden and Korea are both kind of tough. Oh, yeah. Okay. Austria's gone back to war with Mofra, who seem to have expanded a little more as well. Alright, um, the Empire. 19 princes. Shouldn't have any... Well, he's got three heretics still. Alright, Luma gained influence. Uh, yeah. Ottomans are heading up. Let's see if they have any claims first. They do on Fedosia. Um, we can always take this area. So, yeah, let's get the Ottomans to head over that way for a start. If they want to head up to 
Moscow itself would be okay with that. And Chagatai is going to be a little annoying here. Oh, hello, Russia. All right. Um, Transox, if you could go that way at all. Get these guys coming around. All right. Uh, Diplomat in Persia was discovered. We needed 30. All right. Pull him back. It's not going to happen. I do rather want to just chase these two guys out. It's coming in in winter. Transox is on the same tech as him, getting chased away. 4 5 to 2 5. Brandenburg wants to give us free ducats. We'll accept. Okay. And Salento. So, Islam has reached Italy. Let's go with Gonda. And do really want to keep these guys very close. Hmm. Um, I guess we can go to these couple. Ottomans are decently close there as well. Alright, we've converted three Poli. Need three to go. Um, yes. Because this guy is coming up that way. Alright, got Ustuart, Riga accepted, full annexation. Dubek's thing is gone. Ming is over here for some reason. Um, somebody care to explain who Ming is at war with? Attacker against Korea in the second Ming War for Korean tribute. And that has called in Russia because he's allied to Korea. Alright, Ming. Uh, it seems like a weird choice to make. And is that actually... No, it's Smolensk. Where's Moscow? There. <clears throat> Look, we've got Astrakhan. So I'm thinking it's time to move up a little further. How are we getting blocked from going there? Okay. Just keep these guys over in the mountains. Good. And we have renewed loan. Damn it, just five months before we we're going to do that. What's that? 30, nearly 30,000. All right, so do these guys now. Just need to get to the forts before Mingdu. How many men he's losing? All right, new drush in Gondor. There's Russians down there. That's one, two, three. Fourth guy is still on his way. Ming are occupying random stuff up here. Yeah, Russia never seemed to bother building up their forts, so this is good. We ought to swing around this way and just focus on this side and then get Sweden out. And might just be able to do a white piece on Korea when Ming occupy enough of their stuff. Alright, one siege of Nizhny. I guess we want to be the ones to get to Moscow, so let's go through the Yaroslav. What? Alright, um, go to uh, Charlie. There's Russians there. But, no, nah, screw it. And, yeah, Transox doesn't want to hand their stuff over. Swedes are attacking and winning. Damn it. Alright, I'm going to go over one province at a time. Uh, Transox is doing okay there. Swedes, Ottomans are coming in to try and catch them. Von Ekaterinburg. He was going to go basically anywhere over there. Try and beat Ming to it. Poland on it with Sweden. And we've won the siege of Kazan. From Kazan to Moscow. Alright, they'll come in at the back. A few Swedes there to watch out for. 
Russians taking back Smolensk. We've won the siege of Yaroslav. Perfect. All right, they go directly there. These guys can go to Starodub. And let's go for land maintenance reduction. So at the moment, spending 121. Yeah, saves us a little. Um, cultural interaction. Sell off the slaves. And we want to hold off on that one. Uh, are we doing a military? No, we finished off everything. Hmm, next one's at 26. It's a couple away. Alright, he wants to attack the Russians. You want to see what Russia's army is actually like. We've got 5.2. Oh God, look at that discipline. What's our discipline sitting at? 103. Yeah, if we actually do any fights here, we're going to get slaughtered. Hello, welcome to Astrakhan. Dongla's got a nice army there. Um, if we quickly take a look. What was that? Oh, new level of professionalism. General cost is down. Pause the game, damn it. Alright, raising support amongst the Egyptians. Get minus two unrest. Plus, awesome. Uh, custodian ship, yep. Get some Diplo. Storydub is ours. And Chebek Sari. We completely missed the fact that this battle was taking place. Infantry combat abilities, nice though. So, we'll go here and here. And when they get over there, we'll leave them for a bit and then bring them back to help out as well. Um, three that are available now. It's only Jafaris that are not because of Persia. Um, it's the only one we'd actually really want to use. Um, use that. No. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a short break here. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. And hope to see you again soon as we continue this war against Russia, which is going to be a slaughter because look at how much he's up against at the moment. All right. See you soon.